what's up to all my players out there and all my reef addicts in reef land so it's your boy og reefs and aquariums and i'm here at my one of my favorite stores and we're looking to unfortunately replace a achilles tank so here we're going here let's go in and see what we can find we're in hayward california and this is aquatic check them out Yeah, gym tank. Yeah. Which is a gym tank? Four hundred bucks. Not today. No, no. Ooh, look here. It's a pretty uh, is that a bat fish. Yeah, one twenty-five. They get really big though. See, we got a nice angel in here. Got reef safe. That's the size Ash just started at. Yep, yeah, right here, huh? We bought her here too. That's where we bought her? Uh huh. She was like sixty five dollars. Yeah, we bought her ass. Hopefully, I'll get strike for this music. Wow. This is a tank here. So I know what I want when I see it. Can't remember the name of it. Here's a smaller tank here too. How much that one is? $400. That's a big tank right there. I'm looking at what I got there. So let's see. Come on. I think this is You like this guy? Oh, look at him. He's really pretty. What kind of tank is that? That is a gold spot, I believe. An orange shoulder tank. Oh. He's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Guys, have any questions? Well, this is what I like right here. This is what I wanted. Bristle tooth. This guy right here. How much is a bristle tooth? Bristle tooth is. See the red one back with the white tail? Right here. Yeah. I like, don't you like him? Uh-huh. So full of eating. Blue tank, 120. Fish are expensive. That's a stupid pie. Yeah, but if I don't like nothing, I'm not going to buy nothing. Oh, look at this guy here, Potter Blue. Two fox faces. Well, he might have been. I don't know. I really can't tell you. He was pooping on something. He was. But Self they say they can do that. Cool, right? They can do that. Oh, look at that gym tank. You are crazy. Like this. A lot of gym Look at multicolor angel. That's a pretty good. They say he can. Look at little guy. Uh oh, where's he at? Right there. Fox face, 50 bucks. He doesn't look healthy to me. He doesn't? How much is the purple tank here? 280. Yeah. There's a larger fox face. Bad replacing banana. 80 bucks. These came in on a six. And then, oh, okay. Here's a Tony Tang. See that little guy right there? Yeah. Small little guy? You don't like him? Alright. I don't think we should Another chip tang. This thing must be easier to keep. Oh, I love the pipefish. Way too much current in my tank for that, though. You like the selfie? Okay. 
I think that's a big man during the day. I don't know what that is. Angler fish? You ever see that fish, Dana? Smaller white tail one, but it was kind of pale, so I don't know. You guys are pretty. These purple fish here. The yellow face. Purple Queen Antheus. $45 each or three for 120 Yeah, where's that yellow shoulder we saw? Okay. Yeah. Do you have a lot of fish in there? No. My other one, no. So that's kind of vanilla. Dude, you got brown and gold. You kind of fly a little bit. That's an interesting little fish. What is that? That is a long nose hawk, black and white. No. Oh, that's a mimic tank. Yeah, a hundred bucks. I kind of like him a little bit. Yeah. But the only thing left is the seahorse. It's, 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 it's right now, it's One of the biggest problems with this hobby is probably making, it, probably making uh, quick, uh, irresponsible decisions and purchases. <laughs> so one of them, we re, wait, wait, we were lost a five hundred dollar fish and we replaced it with a much easier to keep four hundred dollar uh, prize fish gym tank. <laughs> so I, I've, I've been bitching about not having the money guys and being broke so this is actually gonna cost me a thousand dollars because everything I say I can't buy I gotta buy now because I'm saying I got no money like get my teeth fixed and that kind of thing and I just bought a fish that <clears throat> well you did if you look online they're going for 800 to a thousand dollars so and I got 20% off that we got it Wait a minute, why was this so expensive? Was tax? Tax, huh? Tax, yeah. Tax. So we got 80 bucks at 320 and it came to 350. It's tax. Tax. Yeah. Tax is like 10%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll right, see you at home. Alright guys, so here is our new guy. We haven't got a name for it. That's the wife job, not mine's. But this is him. This is the gym tank. He's been floating in this tank for about how long now? How long have we been home? Half an hour? Four or five minutes easy, so I'm pretty sure that the temperature is up to par. What I'm going to do now is, I've already checked the copper con copper value in this water, and it was well, it was 1.42. It needs to be 2.0 to be uh, medicated levels. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually put him into this container. I like using this because it's tall; it's less likely he'll drop, he'll jump out. Then, using this hose and this clamp that I got from the doctor, which of course I won't be able to find now because I wanted to show it to you, which has a clamp on it, I'm going to do, here you go, drip acclimation. So, here we go. So, I'm going to put him and his water into here to about this level. Then, I'm going to drip acclimate it using this clamp to about double the water value during that time we're going to bring the copper level up in the quarantine tank to 2.0 right i've already adjusted the temperature and i've checked the ammonia level everything's good so i'm going to move over here he's going to stay here approximately 
He's in good health now, but we might we don't want to jeopardize the take. So approximately three to four weeks. Then once again on this tank, we're going to do a water change with tank from the display. If everything is great. We're going to move him over. So the next step is to get him out of his bag into here. Start the drip acclimation, which is going to take probably a good 45 minutes because I'm going to do a slow acclimation to the quarantine water. But before I do that, I'm going to raise the copper level in the quarantine to 2.0 using copper safe. Then I'm going to retest. Once that's 2.0, I'm going to start the drip acclimation. All right, so I'm going to do all this pretty fast, fast speed. You guys get to see me. Uh, probably no volume, probably some background music or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it's a long process. I don't want an hour video. And then once we do that, I'll recap it again and then show you the actual release of the no name expensive fish. <laughs> right now, we'll call him Jim. Yeah, Jim. Jim with Jim Tang into the 20 gallon quarantine tank. All right. Bye. It's incredibly hard to hold this camera and do all this. But now I'm going to check the copper content of the water after adding one milliliters from close to two or slightly over. I'm going to let it go and let's get the reading. So give me a second to add the reagent to the cylinder. Point, oh shit, 1.35. So let's add a little, add a little. So 1.35, one, let's see here. This says five milliliters for five gallons of water. Okay, go ahead. So I think I put about five gallons of water, but I want to take it slow. I don't want to overdose because I ain't got no more water. So I'm going to put in two. Milliliter because it's five milliliters for every four gallons. So I'm going to put in two for two gallons and see where that brings me. So. Right there. Let that go. Then we're going to retest. Guys, it's probably not the best way to do it. You should actually get the measurement before, but because. Well, long story, you saw why. All right, free test. All right, so I'm at 1.67. Guys, so what I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dose another, don't wanna go too much, one milliliter, and that'd be about it. And so what, what's what happen is so two is where you like to be, right? 2.0 is really Medicaid level. But as close to that over a period of 30 days for what appears to be a healthy fish is adequate. Um, see what I got? What, what I kind of messed up is because I had this pre-mixed, right? At 2.0. And then it was sitting here. And then for some reason, I don't know what it is, I, I did a five-gallon water change on it before I put the new guy in. Don't know why I did that. That was crazy. Now, uh, I put the five milliliters for five milliliters for every four gallons of water, but then it's still coming down lower too. So I'm thinking maybe with the evaporation over time, it really wasn't 2.0 to start with. So I don't want to over medicate this guy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another one milliliter and that should get me up to one eight, around one eight sign. And then I'm going to leave it. Then I'm just going to wash this guy over the next 30 days and if I see anything then at that point 
up the medication, okay? So, be right back. All right, so I tested now, it's 1.86. So I'm gonna leave it at 1.86 copper. Um, 2.0 is medicated, but I think this is safe range. Dose a little bit under and just keep it for 30 days. You keep an eye. So this is the new gym tang. Where's he at? Guys, I need you to help me with a name for him. Using my wife names. If you got a name, put it down in the comments below. I know I got a couple names in mind, but I don't want to tell you yet. So let me know what you think. This is the Jim Tang. He is at a 20 gallon QT tank. And uh, that's it. So remember, OG Reefs of Aquarius. Actually, take a quick look at the big tank. OG Reefs and Aquariums. Thanks for guys for joining. Like, subscribe below for more fish. And uh, yeah, so we want to once again, Jim Tang to the family.